Welcome to our two bonus reasons video everybody. This video is an extension of the video I just posted on our main channel called the seven reasons why the seven year tribulation begins in 2022. If you have not watched that video yet, you need to go back and watch that video and then come back and watch this video. And please make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because I may continue to do stuff like this in the future. So make sure you get that done and let's move forward reason number eight the seven seal setup the conditions on the earth right now are ready for the seven seals talked about in the book of revelation chapter six seven eight to be opened i'm on the belief that these have not been opened yet but instead the world is being primed for these seals so when they are open then everything those seals are prophesied to fulfill on the earth will be easily achieved. Let me explain it like this. Have you ever been bowling? Picture a bowling lane in your mind. The lane is the earth. The machine at the end of the lane setting up the pins are man. The pins are the works of man that brings unrest to the earth. And the bowling ball is the four horsemen that travels down the lane and knocks the pins down. For example, the engineered global pandemic, which brought on a global economic collapse, hyperinflation, sickness, pestilence, war, death, big government, and the desire for a one world savior. Those are all the pins set up by man, with the help of demons and fallen angels, of course. Now, these pins are very unstable. Any vibration can easily knock them over. Now, we will soon see the four horsemen bowling ball traveling full speed right at these pins. And eventually, bam, catastrophic destruction. Pins flying violently everywhere. That is what the four horsemen do. You see, they don't create the situation from scratch. They just come in and make a bad situation exponentially worse. So the conditions of hyperinflation, sickness, pestilence, war, death, the desire for one world savior, it's already here. And it's already been here for a long time. But over the last 70 years, especially the last seven years, man has purposely caused these things to greatly accelerate. But God is winding up his four horsemen bowling ball right now. He's getting ready to roll it down the lane at the earth. And when he does, this will cause all these conditions on the earth to go from bad to a quantum worse. This is why people make that mistake. They think the seals have been opened already, but they haven't. You're actually just looking at the pins. The four horsemen, the first four seals, that's the bowling ball. And God is not going to roll his strike shot until after we are removed from the earth at the rapture resurrection. So why is it the seven-year tribulation and the rapture resurrection can take place this year? It's because all the necessary bowling pins globally are set up right now. We're just waiting on the ball. And finally, reason number 10. God appointed man 7,000 years on the earth. According to the Bible, God has appointed seven completed millennia for mankind, or 7,000 years, on the current earth before he replaces it with a new earth, according to Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. Man has existed on the earth for 4,000 years to the day our Messiah Jesus Christ showed up onto the scene in 29 AD when he began his physical ministry on the earth. Why is this significant to the possibility of a seven-year tribulation beginning this year in 2022? If Jesus returns in 2029, as all our data seems to indicate, that would be 2,000 years since he started not since his birth, since he started his physical ministry on the earth in 29 AD, when the Messiah showed up, when the Messiah began his ministry on the earth. You know, his ministry where he was teaching and prophesying about his physical kingdom that will soon be established on the earth. So he came as a lamb and started his physical ministry on the earth in 29 AD, and now he is going to come again. But this time he's coming as a lion to rule the earth starting in 2029 AD. Notice how the start of his physical ministry and the start of his physical kingdom both take place on year 29. 
This will also be the start of the 12th Shemitah cycle since Israel was established as a nation back in 1948 like I showed you before. And if you didn't know this, the number 12 is God's number of government, order, and justice. A perfect number to launch his perfect government which brings in perfect order and justice on the earth for the next thousand years. This will be greatly welcomed by all the righteous at this point since going through the 11th cycle, the tribulation cycle where there was nothing but disorder, lawlessness, and no justice. Like I said before, if Jesus returned in 2029, then just subtract 7 years from 2029 for the tribulation period and that puts us right here in 2022. Also a perfect alignment with the fig tree generation like I showed you at the beginning of this video. So if Jesus returns in 2029, at this point that will be a total of 6,000 years and then you add on 1,000 years for the millennial reign. That would be a total of seven fully completed millennia. 7,000 years, the complete designated time God has given to man on the earth. Because if Jesus returned at the end of the 12th seven year cycle, that would be in 2036, which doesn't line up with anything at this moment in time, going backwards and forwards. Now, I don't know, and neither does anybody else on earth, what's going to happen exactly over the next 7 to 10 years. But we believe what we're showing you today is very good, solid speculation. So everybody, please comment. Let me know what you guys think about this research I just showed you today. Share this with all your networks. Make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button on the way out so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. And may God bless you all and hang in there for we are almost finished. Amen. Amen.